Welcome back, folks. And we got a busy day ahead of us. We're doing a live stream again today. After yesterday's 4 and 0 day trading during the live streams, we did it here and over at the Stockmo Patreon. I'm looking to do another YouTube video on here with some live trading later this afternoon. I am thinking one o'clock, maybe two, but you'll see that out there. Uh, but, so be prepared if you want to follow along with that. And I got to start out with this shout outs, folks. If you guys didn't see this, I got the donation. We don't, we're doing the donations for the pause center at Penn State, down at Penn State University. They have a no kill shelter. This is our annual fundraising goal this year, $41.95. But if you donate, you get your name shouted out on my channel all week. Uh, the earlier you donate, the better. So take advantage of this. Roberto, shout out. Stephanie, Tracy, Lindsay, as you can see, the names D, Alyssa, Sue, Dog Dash. Hey, nice. I like that. Uh, Jeffrey. Oh, there's me. I did donate for everybody wondering. Carlina, Gail, Julia, uh, Max, and James and Emma. I do want to thank everybody. If you have not donated, I'm going to have a link. First link below. This is our annual fundraising last year we did 4190 this year we want to do 4195 help the kiddos out these are students at penn state university who are in their senior year trying to raise money at a no kill shelter for uh, cats and dogs so we are going to help them out now into the market what is going on in the market a few things i do want to show you a few things one the main thing i was looking at uh, is look at this the fear chart all out of out of control right now out of control we're back up to extreme fear extreme fear here on the the s p 520 125 day moving average we have crushed that 125 day moving average once we did you had to have a feeling we were going to come crashing down we are crashing down the, look at this uh just absolutely horrible on the strike on the stock price strength and then we got the stock price breath that's down extreme fear Putting call options, though, surprisingly, not as bad as you would think. More, We got some people actually buying into the calls now, so interesting. Uh, market volatility, fear, and safe haven, extreme fear. And look at this extreme greed still in the whole bonds and everything else, the treasuries. Uh, you, you know what? We'll see, because everybody who knows, you know, we're watching. Uh, how is that? I think I think a pre-market we were looking green, at least when I was looking into it. Uh, we had some green. So we'll see if it's green or not today as we go forward. Uh, I did want to get into a few stocks and some technicals here. I had some people ask me about Apple and I told them I would cover it on a chart, plus a few other stocks. I want to talk about a few of them here today and where I see these things going. Because if you haven't done it, come on over to Stock Mo Patreon. Like I said, I'll be doing the live streams today in here as well as on youtube uh most likely most likely the plan is for this afternoon if not then of course you know we're always going to be doing them moving forward that's the goal and so if you want to see that come on over and of course the stock squad when we're over there doing our thing as well all four of us in one place it can't get much better than that get your free stocks from weevil any deposit will get you up to 12 stocks and a hundred dollar deposit gets you free share of sofi and five free stocks over moomoo Moo, all the links down there so as we look at these charts I wanted to show this first. You can see on my Bollinger Band, this is negative, and I'm talking about everything. One, you got the five crossing over the 50, the 13, and just collapsing down. And now the only good sign for everyone is that we are on that Bollinger Band, and then it bounced back up. It could drop more tomorrow, or as you say today, but I don't believe it will. I believe we're actually at a point where we could get a little relief, but there is no guarantees, folks. I would think that today could be a green day to release some of the pressure. You're seeing a massive amount. Uh, if you come over and look at the SPY, I got a few things. We are right on that support that I've been watching, watching this channel trading. The last few times we hit this, we bounced up. So in my opinion, my opinion, two things are going to happen. One, if we can't hold this, 404 for the SPY. That's where we're going next. Uh, if we can hold this, I do expect a retestment back up into the 420s for the SPY, which would be a nice little gain. So that's where we're seeing, at least in my opinion. I think we could go up another, I would say, 3 to 4% off of this before we'll have to make some decisions. And like I said, by Q1 of next year is when I think the real pain hits. I know everybody's like, oh, Mo, everything's kind of collapsing now. Yeah, I know. I get it. But I'm telling you, this isn't the worst of the worst. 
we're going to have a lot of other things. It looks a little bit weird here. It's almost like Christmas, isn't it? Because if you look at the heat map from yesterday, all that pain, all that stuff really wasn't the entire market, folks. Take a look at this. Tons of green, 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 tons of green, right? So what's going on? Green, 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 green. Why? Where's the red? Look at the names. The same stocks that carried this market up are the same stocks that are going to carry us down. So even though the stock market was up, a lot of stocks, I told you this during the year, if you took out the big seven, the market was flat. But just like right now, when you take out the big seven, the market may have been up. And because look at all the green everywhere. Yeah, there's some red in here. But overall, it's a it's just leaning more green than red until you add in the big dogs. And that's, in fact, lies the problem. Uh, you got to be careful what you're investing in. Look at this heat map. It'll give you an idea what stocks are set up to do well. Uh, and, of course, look for value. Look for PEs that make sense. And when you do that, you're going to find yourself staring at profit. And that's how you should do it. Uh, I'm going to be doing some other things as we move forward with this. But I do want to make sure you guys realize that there is opportunity out there. Now, as you can see, uh, I had some people ask me about the TMF. Look, put a one in the chat. Put a fire emoji in the chat if you're team TMF. If you're not, put a number two. I hate TMF. Let me know either way. We want to give everyone a voice on here. So there you go. TMF is one of them plays that when you see the stock market collapsing, money moves into treasuries usually. And so we have a correction uh, right now with the NASDAQ. It's official. We have a correction. It's happening right now. You can see the high. We are now down 12.25%. I think the s and is on verge of a correction. Uh, and it's long overdue, in my opinion. It's been a while. Uh, we are now down 9.84%. So one more serious down day, and the S&P 500 officially is in correction territory. Uh, it's coming. It's coming, folks. Uh, there's not, it's not a question of if, it's just when. And so we see a lot of things happening here. And you can see yesterday what happened over the last week, 4.13, 3.80. And we have moments of reprieve before we drop again. So keep that in mind that as we watch these charts I'm showing you, that you'll have moments where you collapse down. And it doesn't seem like it can get any worse. Uh, then we go up and you're like, oh, it didn't get worse. And then it gets worse. So as you're following these charts, make sure you're trusting them. Follow them. Understand what you're looking at. This will give you an idea what's going on. The RSI is almost a major oversold area. The Bollinger Band, tight on that right now. So that's telling us maybe a little oversold short term. And then we're on this support that you can see we keep bouncing off of in this channel. To me, this is ready to either do two things. Crush down below where we're going to drop another 3 to 5% very quickly in a week or bounce off and we get a few uh, week or two of moving back up and getting some reprieve and everybody takes a breath and all of a sudden we don't collapse until close to December into January. And that's what I thought was going to happen. But like I said, I was watching the charts. Once we hit up here, should have took profits. We did not and we paid the price. We were hoping for that breakout, did not get it, should have turned right into puts for everything. Uh, now, at this point, I'm not getting out of anything because everybody's like, you're getting out of your... Is some of your plays over at the Patreon? No, because we're on support. If we fall below this, yes, I'll switch. I'll go probably all puts, and I'll be playing a lot of different options and stuff like that moving forward to try to make bank off of this. So that is what I am looking at for this. Man, it's been wild. I don't know if you guys are in this. The queue's looking very much uh, ugly, ugly. And I had this. So you can see the what I was kind of looking at as I've been watching this chart. And we came down, came down, broke this, finished down below. I would expect a retesting up, but this line here may start to become resistance. And then that's not a good thing. So I was bouncing off support multiple times. Now we're not. So I am watching these, the cues, the spies, everything. Uh, and I will tell you this. I will let you know. We'll talk about it more in the live stream today. I'm looking forward to it. One or two o'clock ish. And I'll probably do a little bit here, a little bit over the Patreon like I always do. I'm looking forward to some live trading. Folks, 4-0 yesterday. Man, that was just wild. For everybody to join me, 
I love those kind of days. When we can get out there, we can do the right thing and just make moves like that. I am now 14 and two for the live trade releases. I'm looking to get it up there more. I'm gonna update the chart and everything else uh, and that we keep track of and we'll see where we go. Now, do me a favor, you want the shout outs? Get in here, folks, link down below. All you gotta do is donate. Once you donate in there, I will be shouting out the names all week long so we want to make sure we can do that help everybody out and i would appreciate it folks that is the big thing if you haven't done it join the patrons get over and get your free stocks from mumu and weeble down below this is your opportunity and that's all i got for you i appreciate you stopping by let's get out there and make some money